intersection of sets the intersection of two sets a and b a and b so intersection means for example okay first i'll explain you the definition so intersection symbol is a union symbol just reverse if you write there's intersection symbol that is a and intersection b so we can read as a intersection b now this is a intersection symbol middle one that means a intersection b so that is equals to x such that x is belongs to a and same x should belongs to b also okay. I'll, I'll explain example it gets clearly earlier for example let a is the set 1 3 4 6 and b is the set having elements 4, 6, 5, 9. Okay, so some both are non empty. A is having some elements and B is having elements. Now A intersection B. A, B. So intersection symbol is this. So this is the intersection symbol. We can read it as A intersection B. So A intersection B is x is element in it should be in both so in a set and b set which are the common elements that is nothing but intersection okay if you observe one is in set a but it's not in b so one you should not write three is in set a and three is in not in b and four is in set a and set b and six also is in set a and set b so the answer is only four comma six only the common elements we need to write all together. Okay, 4 and 6 are the common elements. That means x is belongs to A and x is belongs to B. That's why I use the symbol and. Okay, x belongs to A and x is belongs to B also. Okay, give, let me one more example. A is the set 1, 3, 5, 7 and B is the set 2, 4, 6, 8. Then what is A intersection B? So if you observe in both sets, is any element is common? No. Right? So here 1, 3, 5, 7, here 2, 4, 6, 8 no element is common that means a intersection b is equals to null it's a null set so if there is no any element is common then we can call them disjoint sets also so you can say this disjoint two sets a and b are said to be disjoint if they have no element in common okay, there is a definition for disjoint so it's clearly say a intersection b is equal to null if intersection then there is nothing but disjoint sets so i'll explain you some properties in intersection of sets
properties of intersection of sets. So first one, intersection of sets is commutative. So it exists commutative property. That means A intersection B is equals to B intersection A for any two sets A and B. So it uh, exists commutative property. So intersection of sets is a commutative. Similarly, like a union of sets we have seen properties. Same way, intersection of sets is associative also. It exists even associative property. That is, A intersection B intersection C is equals to A intersection B intersection C. So separately, if we do also, it is same. So for any three sets A, B, C, so it is a associative property. It exists associative. Commutative and associative same in union as well as in intersection. If third property, if A is subset of B, that means every element of A is in B because A is a subset of B. Then A intersection B means here only common. Common means every element of A is in B. So A intersection B is A itself. Okay, because A is only the um, number of elements of all A is in B. So A intersection B is in A only. Or else, and we can say, for example, okay, reverse B intersection B subset of A means a intersection B is equals to B will take. Let's see. For any sets A and B, for any sets A and B, we have A is A intersection B. A intersection B come together is a subset of A and A intersection B is subset of B also because intersection is only common so surely that is a subset of set A and subset, uh, subset of set B and one more property A intersection null null set means no elements if there is no element means no common with A so result also is a null set so it's for every set A. Okay, fifth property is clear. A intersection null set is null because intersection is only common. In that common null set is no elements at all. So result also is a null set. So these are the properties of intersection of sets. Now see how to do difference of sets.